and welcome to the part number 49 of the note editor tutorial series. My name is Pavel Křopala from blenderfreak.com and as you can see today in this part we are going to implement and finish the evaluation logic for all of the nodes. So if we type anything here it will correctly calculate all of the outputs even if we put some error all of the nodes are dirty and we at least see the last result here because we are using caching as you can see again if we for example divide by zero the division will have an error division by zero and we are handling the exception correctly and even display it to the user which is cool so i hope you are excited to finish up this evaluation and let's start coding so for the operations like plus and others, we should first of all retrieve our inputs. So first of all, self get input and uh, zero and i2 is going to be self dot get input one. Once we got all of these, we should definitely check them. So if not i1 or not i2 self.mark invalid okay self.mark descendants dirty definitely self gr node set tooltip is going to be connect all inputs or we could be less strict and implement that by default the empty input is going to be zero for example or something like that however let it be like it is for now so we do require all of the nodes to be connected we can try to do value equals to i1.eval plus i2.eval like this if everything is okay the value is going to be val and we can say mark dirty false also mark invalid false and also reset the tooltip for the graphical node so empty string and we can mark all of the descendants dirty again and we can try to evaluate children so self eval children the same way like we did in the input node and we can just return value like this otherwise we are going to return none perfect so let's try the add node here input one and two for example let's try to add here is an error connect all inputs perfect once i connect the second one we got type error exception unsupported operand type plus for int and method yes we should definitely have these parentheses here so let's try to rerun that again input input add first one and the second one and everything is correct connected correctly and this is being evaluated so the output is free if i change it to four i got output six five and seven three is five and it looks like it is working that's perfect here is invalid output because we do need to connect input for it perfect so this looks like mark dirty it looks like it is working properly so we could go ahead and copy this eval implementation for all of the sub and other stuff however instead of that we are just need we do just need to change this one single line here to be able to work for the subtract and multiplication so instead of that let me copy this 
and let's go here to the eval implementation and paste it here and what we can do now here in the val we can say that it's cell eval operation of i1 eval comma i2 eval like this and by default let's say eval operation self and input 1 and input 2 return 1 2 3 so this way we can go to the operations and just define eval operation with input 1 and input 2 and we can just return input 1 plus input 2 and we should be able to work with the plus so let's try it again 1 2 add and output and we are not working because I broke something and here our error is input is not a number so let's try to figure out what I messed up let's have a look this should be okay I guess when we go to the eval operation that's returning one two three and yeah that is not correct here this should be like this because it was then it was returning the function or not even the function here just defining a function and doing nothing however let's try it again let's try to add the output add connect these together and we got three and if i change that you can see immediately our result is changing and when i press a for example invalid literal here is the exclamation mark and the rest is dirty but this is the old result we have been seeing and that's kind of perfect i guess so now i guess it's working and we can go ahead and try to eval operation on each of our note here so in the case of the multiplication it should be star this should be division and this should be subtraction so let's try all of the nodes if they do work In create inputs one and two this is going to be at and output And guess what? Since we have implemented this tracking edge logic, I can now right click at the subtract and connect it here. That's cool. So output is going to be minus one because one minus two is minus one. Perfect. So let's try to add multiply and divide like this second input will go here and two outputs one multiplied by two is two and four by two is eight that's working four div divided by two is two again divided by three is one point something which in the integer math is just one four plus three is seven and four minus three is one so that's perfect now when i put zero here and i divide this is dirty result and here you can see division by zero and the multiply is okay four times by zero is zero and the output should be zero 
instead of input is not a number. So let's check that. Here is the eval operation. So if e1 is not none or e2 or actually like this is none one multiply and divide let's put the outputs here one by one these are correct however if I do 4 multiplied or divided by 0 we should 0 division error on this one that's correct and however here the input is still none so let me just do one thing I will put add and subtract here and let's connect everything together and save the file okay so let's try to save it example to json and let's try to find out what's happening here so for our operations let's find the multiplication that is here let's print foo or something and let's debug if i do file open the second example nothing is being calculated which could be desirable, maybe not. And I try to eval. I should be able to see in the console foo when I click to the next step. Yes, I am. So the first input is 4 and the second one is 0. So these two work correctly. If I do return, that's perfect value should now be zero we can mark dirty invalid and set tooltip we can mark dirty descendant children's and we can evaluate the children's and return the value and we are returning zero so returning zero here in the eval function calc node base the next step is the eval implementation in the output and here is if not value and this is being triggered because the value is zero and not value was detected as not a number so instead of that we can ask if val is none and let's try to rerun open the file example to json and find out the multiply and evaluate and now it works so if i press if i do one here four plus one is five three this is four and this is four also when i put zero here now the multiply works correctly and the division got the error this is the exception what happened and our exception is division by zero because you can't divide by zero so that means our application is working that's perfect and just to fix our tiny issue when loading the file and not evaluating the node we can go to the calculator sub window which is directly here and we can have a look in the node editor widget and as you can see we got a function called file load and this one is creating the new scene and it's 
clearing the history and creating all of the nodes and if everything is okay it's returning true otherwise it's going to return false if something happened so therefore we can easily implement to automatically evaluate uh, the newly loaded scene with overriding define or actually let's you know what let's do it here so define file load and we can ask if everything is okay file load with the file name then uh, eval all output nodes like this and pass for now and if it did not we can return false otherwise we can return true and to evaluate all of our output nodes we can go through each node in self.scene.nodes and we can ask if node.class.name instead of importing right now the calc node at or calc node output we can just compare it with the string as a name so calc node underscore output so that means if this node is being output call node dot eval and now when I try, try to open up our example 2 everything got evaluated like it should once it loaded and that's completely perfect so we fixed everything and now we are actually done let's try it yeah and everything works which is perfect so i thank you for watching and see you at the next part